Hello everybody and welcome back to the workshop. Today we are working on the 23rd installment of the several indie games project. Yes, we got a lineup today as we always do of six indie games to see how I feel about them. First up, we just get rid of this. I was I was dealing with uh, I haven't responded yet, but I was doing some copyright claim research because a couple of the stream uploads got copyright claimed for for dumb fucking reasons, and so woo, Ooh, whoa, nice. That was crazy. This first game, by the way, is Botolo. Bodolo, however you pronounce it. I don't know. I'm sorry if I am pronouncing it wrong. Creator of Bodolo, which is Aaron Snyder. This is the first one. But yeah, I was doing some uh, copyright claim shit. I mean, I I know YouTube says it's not like... I don't even make what you can't use that as an excuse. But the fact that I don't make... Alright, so this is interesting. Oh, oh. Okay, have infinite. Oh, difficulty and locked. I can't be locked, I guess. Time attack and infinite. Okay. Can't choose that. Alright, now this is a two player game, technically. Okay, dash and wind. Uh, this is a two player game, but you can do it by yourself. So that's why we're doing it. Um, appears to be some sort of... Okay, I'm confused. I should have done the how to play. Okay, actually, you know what? What are the controls? Why am I stupid? Um, let's... Okay, uh, back. Uh, let's end the match, yeah. I'm gonna quit, only because I should do the how to play first. A very interesting style, to be sure. How to blister out of life. Step one, get the ball. Step two, get close and hold A to steal. Okay. Hold A to block steals. Oh. oh. Blocking gives you points. Okay. Press R to use powers. You cannot use powers while holding the ball. Uh -huh. Crossing dotted lines will make you drop the ball. Uh -huh. Fill a zone with your points to capture. Capture the zone to exit, exit tutorial. I see. Okay. Hello, Pabby. How's it going? All right, so. Okay. okay. So let's give this a try. Okay. 
Oh, they create a dotted line that gives the oh. Aha. Oh. Ah, fuck. You motherfucker! No! Ah, uh, lost the match. Oh, 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 oh. 
Fuck you, motherfucker! Ah! ah come on! Are you kidding me? Nah, I think this first level is, though. Oh. 
No! Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I was actually getting close on that one, too. That's an interesting ability. Ah. You little bleh. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So two dashers, I guess. Ah, you bitch! Ah, oh, you bitch! Are you fucking kidding me with this shit? I hate you so much. Fuck you! Oh, God, why do I suck at that? Ah. Oh, okay. Okay.
That was a tough one. All right, interesting. Oh, interesting. I kind of hate that ability, not gonna lie. I hate that, whatever that ability is there. Ah. Oh. Ooh -hoo -hoo! Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, cool. I mean, I guess they're just playing with the different uh, abilities at that point. But, and there's some locked abilities, which is interesting. Can I get a different difficulty? No, apparently not. Um, but that being said, okay. All right, I probably have to beat it. I probably have to beat it within a specific time to get new. Does this is this local multiplayer? Yeah, it's local multiplayer. That's ah, tragic. Oh, this game would be great with online. Why local only? Uh, probably because indie developer. That's why you know the answer, skier. But, ah, uh, this would still be so much more fun if I could do this with somebody. I mean, going against the AI is fine and all. I wish I could actually do the multiplayer, but it looks like it is... Well, actually, let me double check something while I'm here. Because... It is... Oh god, it's fifteen dollars on Steam though. Yeah, you could do remote play together. <laughs> achievements, huh? What are the achievements here? Oh. Interesting. Alright, so I'll try the other... Okay, so we could actually do this. Let's try this. Infinite. Infinite. <laughs> 
The worst ability is that one. here now. <laughs> it is f how f it is hilarious how close that is. Haha, <laughs> you idiot. Oh my god! Woo! Alright, that's 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 infinite though. Um, alright. It just keeps going, I presume. Alright. Well, if we get it on Steam, that's a cool thirty dollars. But if gotten on Steam, it can be remote played together, which is good. It's a shame that I can't do it over itch itch. I understand that Steam is the goal for a lot of indie developers because Steam is where is the biggest one. Biggest one. Most eyeballs, most chance for feedback, reviews, etc. So I get I get Steam. I do. I get Steam. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish Itch had a little more support though. I would love to play this game. Love to play this game with the Itch version that I have with somebody else. But um, uh, maybe, maybe I could connect this to see so, something to figure out in the future, perhaps. But for now, that do four. There's not much else to bo Bodolo. I mean, I could try to unlock these things, but that's for another time. So that was Bodolo. I enjoy, I do enjoy it. That, if that's easy mode AI, either I'm really bad at this or who dang, I'm going to get fucked up. When I am, if I ever unlock the other difficulty. So, good job, Orange Schneider. Moving on to our next one, though. Okay. Gotta say, I do. I do actually love Bodolo's uh, art style, though, and presentation. That's real clever.
Oh boy. Oh, make sure I change it here as well. Oh, this one has. All right, this one is Brassica, A Merry Tale. It's a visual novel, of course. And it's about gay romances, which I am all about. Bro, so, let's go to start, huh? Long, long ago in a faraway land, a king and queen set in motion a plan. Their daughter, the princess, was ready to wed. But the word on its own filled the princess with dread. Her parents, however, they simply went on to make sure that their child would not stay on her own. They sent all the kingdoms around them the news. That they search for a prince that could thrill and enthuse. This prince should be sent for the princess to test. And assure he was truly the best of the best. Just how she would do this left to her will. And the result of her choice is notorious still. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. A story begins in the palace gardens. Of the... I'm going to turn the sound just a little. There we go. Of the something. Whoops. A mission to court Princess Serafina of Radix. Soon after setting foot on the castle grounds, he was greeted by a young woman dressed all in all red. Welcome, Prince Safin. Saffron, I've been waiting for you. Princess said with a polite smile. Oh, I hope not too I hope not too long. Are you by chance Serafina, my lady? Princess's smile briefly wavered at his words. I am, but please call me Sappho. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Set by his faux pas, Red Sapphire and Expression quickly turned into a worry frown. Ah, I'm sorry I didn't know you chose another name. And just as quickly as he averted his gaze. I was just told to visit this kingdom for marriage negotiations with Princess Serafina. Please excuse my rudeness. The princess was stunned by his reaction. Uh, are you crying? Uh, uh, no! <clears throat> it must be the pollen of this land. Uh, it's alright. Let's just forget this ever happened. His eyes still wet. Princess Saffron looked up again. Okay. Now that the greeting was over, the princess gestured for Prince Saffron to follow her. Well, shall we proceed then? The others are already raiding in the Rosarium. <gasps> the others? Prince Saffron wasn't sure if he misheard. Yes, Prince Odebara and Prince Hans of Puck's tomb are here for negotiations as well. I, I don't understand. Why are princes of other kingdoms here? Princess Sappho briefly wrinkled her brow before explaining. <sighs> you see, your kingdom wasn't the only one sent for the prince. Which is between us, you're my favorite. Prince Saffron and Princess Sappho has a nice ring to it, has it? And well, the others can be a bit... Well, you'll see. As if on cue, the two royals could hear somewhat muffled but agitated shouting just ahead. That's it. I won't listen to any more of your slander. Saffron flinched, worried just how the other princes would turn out to be. Oh. Shlanda? I must say I'm hurt. I was only sharing stories of my encounters with the less dignified royals in this world. To amuse you, even. You insulted my brothers. Brothers? You are the fledgling prince of Bara? I'm sorry, I mistook you for one of the princess's retainers. But I suppose there is a faint resemblance. Though I must say, even your brothers were a lot more refined in manners and appearances. <laughs> Excuse me! So what's the story? Why are you here, my dear prince? Is it obvious? 
I'm here to marry the most beautiful woman to ever set foot on this earth. Princess Sappho of Radix. You must be joking. I assure you, I'm not. I've been in love with her ever since I saw her at my cousin's ball last winter. When my parents told me I've been chosen to marry her, I was overjoyed. But I didn't come here to be mocked by some gauche court jester. What did you just say? If anyone is gauche here, yeah, surely is you. Calling me the Crown Prince of Axtome, a jester? <sighs> Wait. Crown Prince? The audacity! Ahem. Oh. Welcome back, my dear princess. Prince Hans said sweetly, completely changing his demeanor in the matter of seconds. I was just saying pleasantries with Princess Prince Ode here. Yes, I was fortunate enough to witness your exchange. Uh, oh. I apologize for the confusion. Now that everyone has arrived, I will explain the situation. Everyone? Indeed. This is Prince Saffron of the other kingdom. <laughs> Prince Saffron of the Other Kingdom. That's me. Nice to meet you. I'm Prince Saffron. Well, yes, she just introduced you. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Say, I haven't heard of the Other Kingdom. Where exactly is it? Oh, it's just north of this country. And one of the biggest trading powers in the Northern Hemisphere. Oh. Wish we had a better name, but... That a royal hasn't heard of it is frankly absurd. But then again, you are the fledgling prince. I bet your matters involved in world politics is a mere bard. Could you go a minute without insulting me? If you could find your heart, please excuse his impudence, Prince Saffron. Hey! No, now there's nothing to excuse. Oh, well, I'll get along. Poof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, as some of you already know, as you might be able to guess now, three of you here are here for the same reason. My parents, the King and Queen of Radix, have announced their search for a prince to marry me. And as a result, all three of you were sent here for marriage negotiations. What? Oh, wait, hold on. Right. This is outrageous. <laughs> That's his accent now. This is outrageous. I was in charge of negotiations with all two other kingdoms. Yes, this seemed rather unusual. No, not that I have ever been part of such negotiations, my princess. I apologize this puts you on the spot, but it was my proposal to meet all of you today. I agree that it was absolutely unreasonable my parents to accept all three proposals, but I thought it would be unfair to the three of you to be here on your own. To be tested, unaware that you're not the only candidate. Oh! All right, so that is actually really considerate. But how are the negotiations going to proceed? We'll somehow have to set ourselves apart from the other two, don't we? You are absolutely right, Prince Hans. I will send you three on a quest. And the first to return triumphant will be the one I accept to, to marry. A quest! Such a wonderful idea, Princess Sephir. Uh, what kind of quest exactly is it going to be? I'm, uh, not a very good fighter. Not to worry, Prince Saffron. You three are princesses. Princesses! Princes! Strength alone certainly isn't the deciding factor for marriage. Oh! Too bad! I'm sure it would be fun to get a little physical. Not that there would have been much of a contest, though. Question! Is teamwork required? I refuse to spend any more time with this self-absorbed poppinjay. What? Why would we work together? There will only be one winner after all. But what kind of winner? What are we supposed to compete at? I ask you three to bring me a flower. A flower? Yes, but not just any flower. The flower you are tasked to bring here is called the Lover's Bond. Or Lilium Brassica. <laughs> oh shit, title drop! Lilium Brassica! The beautiful cousin of the as good as extinct delicacy, Brassica Oliariacea. Nailed it. I see you're well prepared for this task, Prince Saffron. Have you heard of this flower before, Prince Hans? Prince Ode? 
I have heard the stories of the lover's bond, but I was sure they were nothing but myths. And what is this Olay Race? I don't know of either of them. I like flowers, but don't know many of their names. Figures? As if you're any better. Very well, then let me explain. Lilium brassica is known for two things. It's rarity and its reaction to human emotion. As far as we know, it only blooms on a single mountain in this kingdom. Ah. Furthermore, it only blooms over the span of a single week in spring. Many have tried picking it, but even just the climb to the peak is dangerous and difficult. And it was bond to such strong roots that even those who found it couldn't pick it. Despite its, se its seeming sturdiness, it is a very delicate flower. Should its stem be cut, it quickly withers away and dies. Its beauty alone is enough to make it more than desirable, but that is by far not at all. When faced with true love, the flower transforms into an object that symbolizes this love. I read about it in one of my mother's botany encyclopedias. What? Such flowers exist? Apparently. Do you see now why it is a perfect flower for this quest? Not only is it difficult to attain, it also serves as proof for the validity of the marriage. Exactly, Prince Hans. I will bring you this flower, my princess. My love for you burns strong and true. Why, thank you. I commend your determination. Days to harvest time. You have five days left until the lover's bond withers. Travel south through Friendship Forest and beyond the limit. There, behind the backdrop mountains, you will find Mount Brassica. And at its peak, the Lilium Brassica. We will, we will get horses, right? Five days doesn't sound like a lot of time for such a journey. Of course. I will provide you with a horse, basic equipment, and rations of food to ease your travels. That's a relief. That's a relief. Yeah, for a moment I worried we'd have to make do with just the belongings we carry right now. That would be absurd. Quest aside, we're still princesses. Anything less would be disrespectful. And dangerous. But did I hear correctly? We only given a single horse for the three of us. Yes, even if I provide you with equipment. This is still supposed to be a challenge. If everyone gets a horse, the only challenge would be to be faster than your competitors. And if one of you by chance got a faster horse than the other, it would be the horse that wins. Not this rider. I see. So once again, you only had fairness in mind. But of course, you are free to stay for the afternoon and enjoy some tea and sweets. But I suggest that you not delay your departure too much. Thank you, Princess Afo. I hear this kingdom's sweets are exquisite. Yes, uh, thank you, Princess Afo. But I will heed your words and depart immediately. Wait, what? I have no time to drink tea if my future with the princess is on the line. No, no, no. If you leave now, we will all be forced to leave if we want to have a chance. Not my problem. Whoop. But you can stay if you want, but I take this quest seriously. So do I. But there is no need to jump in head over heels. You agree with me, Princess Saffron, do you not? Or Prince Saffron. Well, uh... Of course he doesn't. Unlike you, he isn't from some clan of warriors who can't appreciate leisure and sweets. Oh, I see. Your Highness has a bother to actually take a look behind the border. You had been to Barra, you'd know better than to spout such nonsense. War is long over, and even before then we were more we were much more than just warriors. For a prince of a land so proud of its collection of knowledge, there's a huge gap in yours. Excuse me! P please, my princess. My princesses. Ahem. I am aware there are still tensions between your two kingdoms. But I'm not here to play mediator, so I'm afraid you'll have to mend them on your own. Preferably outside the castle grounds. My apologies, Princess Sappho. I spoke without thinking. What? Got nothing to say to me? But of course. I was about to apologize to you as well, Prince Ode. Very well, then. I'll leave the decision of when to depart to you. I look forward to see who will emerge victorious. Of course, my princess. I will return soon. 
Hi, where are you going? Don't just leave by yourself. I, um... Just go ahead and follow the others. Farewell, Princess Sappho. <sighs> Not that I ever planned to marry either of them. Well, this is just proved that it would be my ruin. I need to see Sathara right away and distract myself from this misery. I, I love the styling of this. We're going to fall in love with each other. That's what's going to happen. The princes are going to fall in love with each other. I'm calling it. I love the presentation of this particular one. Oh, I can't believe you! We may very well be on this journey for days and you deny us this last little luxury. I can't help it. I won't be able to rest until I hold this flower in my hands to marry the princess. Why are you so hung up about this? It's a political marriage. This is solely to strengthen the relationship between our kingdoms. No! I'll marry her for love. Who? <sighs> I hope you're not as foolish as this Prince of Bara, Prince Saffron. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a save moment. I think Prince Ode's feelings are valid. Maybe you feel differently, but you shouldn't just disregard the emotions of others, Prince Hans. Well, what did I expect? Of course, the heir of a trading empire is going to be diplomatic. As the princes kept walking, the scenery quickly passed by. Before too long, they were long past the parts of Radix they knew. Um, does anyone know in what direction we are supposed to go? South! Well, yes, but we've just been following the path. Are you sure this is the correct one? I believe there should be a map along with the equipment the princess gave us. Hold the horse, Ode. I want to take a look at the map. I still think it's a waste to use the horse for carrying the bags. Do you want to carry them yourself? Go ahead, I won't stop you. Well, um... I'm not saying it isn't comfortable, I just think it would be faster to ride the horse. Unknowingly, Ode had said out loud what the other princesses were afraid to bring up. Which one of them was going to use the horse and leave the others behind? Of course, all of them wanted to make use of this obvious advantage. But obtaining it was a whole other issue. Then what is your proposal? Should we fight for the horse? Should we draw straws? No, maybe we could take turns. Take turns? How would we even? Have you even thought this through, Prince Ode? Calm down, it was just a suggestion. And what a naive suggestion it was. Whoops. Would you actually trust us not to ride away for good if our turn came around? Well, no, but... What the fuck? What the fuck? Excuse me, gentlemen! Could you please let me take a look at your horse? Huh? Is there a problem, <laughs> officer? It's a routine inspection. There have been some horse thieves on the loose lately. Oh no! How horrible. Well, of course, we will let you do your job, but please make haste. We are in a hurry. Hmm. Let's follow us back. Into white above the hooves. Well, to find muscles. Say, is this your horse? Yes, well, I mean, no. It's complicated, but I assure you this horse was given to us by the Princess of Radix herself. And I am the Major Mayor of Algenton. You see, I don't like being lied to, especially not by thieves. This horse is prized for being the fastest horse in the whole wide kingdom. And it was recently stolen. It's been all over the news. But to think that you lot would be so asinine as to travel on the main road with it. Hold on, officer. Are you aware who you are talking to? We aren't some petty thieves. We are princesses of Oxtum, Bara, and the other kingdom. Why, of course you are. It's perfectly normal for princes of kingdoms with such tense relations to travel together. In yet another kingdom, no less, without a single guard or retainer. I may just be a humble policeman. Why won't you make a fool of me? I can't believe this. Do you not see my crown? What other proof do you need? It's true, we are all princesses. The princess sent us on a mission to bring her the lover's bond. Only bond you'll find, you don't have the horse, is that of my handcuffs. That won't be necessary, dear officer. You see, all three of us possess not insignificant amounts of wealth. I'm sure we will come to an agreement. 
Say, how about a dozen gold coins if we all forget this incident ever happened? What a generous offer, my prince. But I'm afraid I can't let you keep the horse. Don't let you go since I'm in a good mood today, so be grateful I won't let you rot in prison. Did I say a dozen? I meant a dozen from each of us, of course. Don't try to buy yourself out of trouble, pretty boy. Take your 12 coins because my grandson was just born and my family needs the money. Well, my pride as a policeman won't allow for any more. Now take your bags and scram to return this hoist to its righteous owner. Were we just robbed by a police officer? How else would you explain this? Princess wouldn't have given us a stolen horse. Policeman's pride my ass. That man must have been corrupt to the core. Such language. I see you are not even trying to behave like a prince anymore, Prince Ode. But whatever the case may be, our horse is gone. We have to find shelter for the night. <sighs> so much for not having to carry the bags ourselves. Well, we divide the weight evenly. It's only fair if we all carry the same amount. Have you heard of equity, Prince Saffron? I'd say it's only fair if we carry the right amount relative to our physique. You can take that big bag, Prince Ode. I was going to anyway, but I don't like your tone, Prince Hans. To picking up the bags, the princes walked until the sun began to set. Under weary complaints, they eventually reached the border of Friendship Forest. They briefly rested and wondered if they should enter the forest right away or wait until morning. Neither of them was too keen to sleep out in the open. The search of an inn, three princes resumed their journey into the forest. They walked and walked, and before too long, the sun had begun to set with still no inn in sight. Are you sure there's going to be an inn here? We didn't see one on the way to the forest, so I'm sure there's going to be one up ahead. Whoops. This is a prosperous kingdom with many travelers pressing through. There simply must be an inn. Well, if we don't find one, we could just set up camp between the trees. I'd honestly rather find a place with proper bedding. As Prince Hans said this, as the silhouette of a wooden hut appeared on the horizon. Being through birches and beaches, they made out a sign of the hut, revealing its purpose. Ha! What did I say? This is... A brothel? Thank goodness, this is even better than an inn. Lady Luck is on our side, my princess. No, 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 I'm not going to set foot in a brothel. My heart belongs to the princess, and the princess alone. No one is telling you to sleep with one of their girls. Just pay the price, and I'm sure they'll gladly lend you a room. But how am I supposed to sleep in a bed that's regularly used for that? If you're scared of diseases, rest assured I heard the brothels of this kingdom are splendid. I'm sure the sheets are freshly washed and the mattresses will be nice and springy. I don't know. But never mind, this is the perfect opportunity. If I'm going to marry into this kingdom, I'll better check the quality of the ladies it offers. Come Prince Saffron, let Ode sleep in the forest if he must, but we're going to have some fun here. Uh... I really don't like this guy, for what it's worth. I like Ode a lot. I hope me and him. Um. But aren't we supposed to be loyal to the princess? Oh, come on. Don't act like this, love-struck fool. None of us are merry yet. We aren't even engaged. There's nothing you have to worry about. Besides, how boring is your marriage going to be without a mistress or two? Better get used to the drill early, Prince Saffron. Speaking of, let's go inside. I can hardly contain my excitement. Wait! Oh my, what do we have here? Welcome to my establishment. Are you to enjoy yourself? It's already late, so why don't you stay the night? Yes, thank you, ma'am. One room each, please, and bring your best girls. Money isn't an issue. Now that's what I like to hear. Are your friends first timers? They look a little 
overwhelmed. I'm sure they'll warm up in no time with the right treatment. Take the pavement up front. You'll be shown the way once the formalities are settled. Of course! Gather round, you two. I'm not going to pay for everyone. Money the princess had with them was more than enough to pay the brothel's rates. Even Ode seemed to have been convinced by the prospect of a proper bed and paid a share. Thank you very much, boys. Clarice, dear, would you show these three the way to their rooms? Lances were told to leave their belongings in a storage room downstairs. Quickly left them behind and moved on. Some were more reluctant than others. The princess followed the glammed up girl upstairs. Three were led into different rooms where they were supposed to wait. Prince O tried to argue that he only wanted to sleep and didn't need anything but the room. But Saffron couldn't hear the end of the argument once the door closed behind him. He immediately sat down and waited several minutes for the door to finally open again. From the rooms next to his, he could hear loud noises and labored shouts. Every passing minute, he wondered if he was truly up for what was about to transpire in here. Sure what to make of the situation? Wonder what kind of girl would be sent to him. And his question was quickly answered. Finally, the door opened again and the woman who entered left Saffron staring. His mouth wide agape. Mainly because she was pointing a dagger at him. Hello, my prince. Sure you can tell from your companion's screams, but unfortunately you won't have a lot of fun tonight. So the closer until she was right next to him. Saffron could feel her put the dagger to his throat as she sensually touched his face. Unless you're into this kind of thing. Saffron swallowed nervously. I don't intend to hurt you. Send over anything of value and we will let you go. No intention to put up a fight. Saffron emptied his pocket. Just as I was to let go of him again, the door sprang open and someone stormed inside. Prince Saffron! Thank goodness you're on home. But Prince Ode was not alone. Judging from the footsteps, several more bandits came running down the hall. Saffron grabbed his arm and dragged him outside. He ran downstairs only to find that even more bandits were already waiting for them there. Along with a third prince, who was, was already desperately trying to put up a fight. A mediocre success. Three of them huddled together trying to fend off the bandits. But unfortunately only two of the princesses were armed. And in all honesty, they may as well have been unarmed too. Ode, what are you doing? Uh, draw your sword already. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Never mind me. What are you going to do with this butter knife? My dagger is a lot more effective than a sword that's still in its sheath. Thank you very much. On said dismissively before his dagger was sent flying to by the hit of an enemy sword. I see. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Just hurry up and draw your sword. Finally beating his nervousness, Prince Ode managed to get the sword out of his sheath. Heavy-handed, he tried to parry whatever hits were sent his way while Saffron hid behind him. In an attempt to rearm himself, Prince Hans dropped to the floor. He crawled towards his dagger while more and more bandits came storming into the room. Prince soon realized that their chances of victory were very slim. Quickly, the plan to reclaim their belongings slipped out of their hand. And so, his dagger was all Hans could grab before the three of them were overpowered. How very unsightly. After hearing that three princesses might enter this establishment, we at least thought you'd struggle. Well, that mind, we're only after the money. Let go. Getting royals is anything but lucrative. And we don't want any accidents to happen, do we? Princesses didn't even reply. And as soon as the bandits moved out of the way, they ran for their lives. They only stopped once the counterfeit brothel song out of sight. That was the worst brothel I've ever been to. I told you this was a bad idea. Oh, so did you realize that this was li a literal tourist trap? N no, but it's right that we should have just set up camp in the forest. Whatever you say, but like we have another choice right now anyway. At least it's not raining. The words barely left the prince's mouth when droplets of water started pouring down. I apologize. I practically invited it. What are we going to do now that we lost all our equipment? I think for now we should seek shelter. Maybe there's a tree around here that can protect us from the rain. So the princess has searched for such a tree. Have it to no avail. <laughs> for too long they were drenched to the bone. The only shelter they could find was a hollow trunk that was covered in moss. But worst of all, the trunk was too small to fit all three of them. Oh, now what? Suppose we'll have to take turns. Call dibs on the first turn. What? That's how this works. Besides, I will not share my rest with you. Who said that I would let you sleep with me? Fine by me! 
Anyway. Should probably let Prince Saffron get in there first. He's so frail he might very well die if we let him stay in the rain for too long. Agreed! We should let him stay the whole night too. Great! Then we won't even have to share the trunk with each other, Prince Ode. A moment, the princesses quietly looked at each other. Like old dibs on the first turn. Hold on! I don't even let Prince Saffron decide. It's only fair, right? Well, you don't think. And what a surprisingly good idea, considering it's coming from you, Prince Ode. I am sure Prince Saffron will make the right choice. Wait. So who will you choose, Prince Saffron? Who will you, you first share the tree with? Ugh. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, Prince Ode. Uh, Prince Ode! Who oh, yes! What? Oh, come on! Just wake up early enough so I can get my turn as well. So the princess settled down for the night. Bruised and battered, soaked by the rain, and mentally strained from the ambush. The inside of the hollow trunk was far from comfortable, at least it was only moist. Cold air still seeds inside, and before too long, Prince Saffron snuggled up to Prince Ode. Mmm. <sighs> Mm. Mm, I love it. <laughs> he never expected to find himself in a situation as dire as the one he was in. Well, they were alive and well. And with this glimpse of hope in mind, he drifted. Just like. outside the forest, a carriage was quietly waiting, dimly lit and guarded by two soldiers. Who is there? Sathara? Sathara, is that you? Yes, my princess. I have eternal good news. Bandits fulfilled their part of the agreement, and the princesses are sleeping in the forest. And their belongings. They arranged that they are returned to the castle at the break of dawn. Good. The princesses are unharmed, yes? Of course. And if they should only scare them, no one is injured from what I could tell. Perfect. Let's move on to phase three. Very well. I make sure all the animals have been chased away by the time the princess is awake. Thank you. Don't know what I would do without you, Sathara. I am merely your instrument, my princess. No, no. You're much more than that. I love you, Sahara. I love you too, my princess. <laughs> this concludes the first act of our story. Interesting. So, who do you think should marry the princess? Ode, Hans, or maybe our hero Saffron? But she just said that she loves someone else. Politics are much more complicated than that, I'm afraid. Does she love a little drama in your stories? Sure, I guess. What? You really don't want either of them to marry the princess? What kind of fairy tale would that be? Even worse, this is a merry tale. Can't just end it without any romance at all. Hmm, what to do? What to do? You know what? How about we work together? This is my story so far, but there's no point if you don't like it. I'll keep asking you how you want the story to play out, but you'll have to take this seriously. You know, it works hard on writing the story, so even if we change it, I want it to be good. I run into trouble, though. All the sets of characters are already prepared. And, well, I'm not really used to imp uh, improvising, but we'll figure something out. Let's turn this into the merry tale we want it to be. But before we continue, why don't we record our progress so far? Then we can start right back where we left off when we're ready to continue. Oh. Oh. I like this. I like the way this is set up. Alright. It's cute. It's clever. I might come back to this one. Only... I, okay. It's still got about... It's still got about 25 minutes. 25, 30 minutes. So, I'll keep going. Oh! Welcome back. Shall we continue our story now? All right, now here we go. The next day, the princesses awoke from an unsteady slumber on uncomfortable ground. <coughs> At least the rain had stopped, but their bodies ached all over. Except for a moment before he once again realized the situation he was in. Being up in a forest next to another prince certainly wasn't how his days ordinarily sorted. Three princesses peeled themselves off their makeshift bed and silently looked at each other. Growling, someone eventually broke the silence. You didn't by chance take some of the food rations before the bandits robbed us. If I did, I would most certainly be eating them right now, Prince, Prince Ode. I don't have anything either. 
Well, it was worth a try. So, what do we do now? I'm afraid all we can do is hunt. But before we do, we should find some water. Good idea. Oh, I'm really thirsty. Oh, they scared off all the animals so they wouldn't be able to hunt for food. Welcome to my world. The princes begin walking in search of a river, a lake, or at the very least a stream. It didn't take long before they lost track of where they were. But then again, after last night's escape, they were hopelessly lost anyway. As the forest cleared beyond the trees, they could see the shore. Oh, majestic lake. Overjoyed, princess ran towards the water to still their thirst. Whoops. Limit, huh? What does that mean? Water! Maybe luck is on our side after all. Well, I'm not sure. I'd consider it lucky. Just look at us, our clothes are covered in filth. But I'll surely not complain that we won't die of thirst in a foreign land. Now we only need to hunt some food and find our way out of this forest. Easier said than none, without a map or even a compass. But let's solve one problem at a time. How about we split up the tasks? Hunting is the first step, but we also need some firewood. All correct firewood. Oh, so quick to answer. Don't like hunting, how? Huh? No, I don't like it. Well, fine by me. I don't mind getting my hands dirty when there's some meat involved. What are you going to do, Prince Saffron? I'll search for firewood. I'll search for firewood. I don't like hunting either. Great! Then we'll be able to carry more wood. Let's go, Prince Saffron. I suggest we meet back here at noon. As hungry as we may be, we should not forget that we need to get out of the forest, too. That sounds good to me. Yes, I agree. All right, then. Until noon, gentlemen. Severn and walked deeper into the forest again. I meant looking for wood, but the selection was sparse. Hmm. This way, we won't find much usable wood. There's hardly any that isn't soaked from last night's rain. Is there a reason you don't like hunting? I thought most royals enjoyed it for sport. Oh, I just don't like killing animals. My father took me hunting when I was a kid, and their screams of terror haunted me for months. Honestly, didn't know how my father or my siblings could bear it. I'd rather just live alongside the animals they kill them. How about you, Prince Saffron? I'm not very good with blood. Or violence. And for most of my life, my parents raised me as a vegetarian. Until the dragons awoke and all of our favorite vegetables went extinct. Yeah, I remember when that happened. It's been years since I last ate broccoli. I just kind of miss it. Aha! There's some dry wood. Yes! Nice find, Prince Saffron. Wait, the dragons awoke and several vegetables? I want to know why the dragon's awakening resulted in several vegetables going extinct. Also, can I fuck a dragon? Can I fuck a dragon in this game? Can I fuck a dragon in this game? Boys laugh plus... We still don't have much, but I think this could be enough for a small fire. Let's head back. I don't think we'll find much more usable firewood here. I must say, this forest is strangely quiet. I've been hoping to listen to the bird song of this land, but I heard not a single note. Not even the foxes said a word. Somewhat unsettling, like walking through a deserted town in broad daylight. I'm going to tell Frederick. He asked me to tell him stories of the critters of this land. Um, let me save this real quick. Is he important to you? Is Frederick important to you? Yes, very! <coughs> Frederick is one of those in this world who are most precious to me. He's our dog! Wait, what? But you said he asked you to tell him stories from here. Is that not normal in the other kingdom? Well, then again, I suppose it's not normal in Barra, either. I bet you don't believe me, but I can always hear the voices of animals. And not just like the others, I can hear the meanings behind them. Hmm. And so returned to the lake, and once everyone was back, they shared their findings. And their meager haul. So in short, we only have a handful of firewood, and there are no animals to hunt. Seems this way. But I'm glad you found out that the animals are actually gone. I knew there was something strange about the forest being so quiet. What do we do now? There's still the lake. Maybe we could catch some fish. 
If we have to. You don't like fish? No, that's not it. They're just kind of hard to follow. Well, I'll fish too, so don't worry about your fine motor skills. That's not what I... No, oh, actually, whatever. How are we going to do this, though? We have neither f nets nor rods. Well, I don't know how you intend to catch fish, but I'll just use my hands. You... Plan to catch fish with your bare hands? Of course not. I'm not a fool. I'll use my magic to lure the fish right into my grip. M magic I thought magic was too dangerous for anyone to control. It's not dangerous if you know how to use it. Back in Ox Tome, using magic is as much a part of daily life as brushing your teeth. But I heard bad things happen when you use magic. Sure, there are some side effects, but it's simply a matter of balancing risk and gain. Ha! I can see again. See? There's nothing wrong with using magic. You were blind just now? Yes. Just, how did you get back here? Okay, no. This is creeping me out. I'll stay far away from your magic and fish over there. Don't think I'll mind. At least you won't scare away my fish, then. Well, enough about me. How are you playing the fish, Prince Ode? Punch them to death. <laughs> He's now a hillbilly. Can I borrow your dagger? Hey, wins now. It's a one-of-a-kind weapon forged from a vanadium alloy and silver. I won't let you have it to splash around on this lake. Use your sword. That's not what I want it for. Just want to carve a spear. Oh! Well, I'm not thrilled that my dagger is going to be abused as a whittle. But I suppose it's for the greater good. Luckily, Hans handed over his dagger to Ode to grab the large branch to sharpen. Now then, Prince Saffron, I suppose that leaves you on fire duty. Is that okay with you? Oh, uh, sure. Back at home, I barely managed to catch fish even with a fishing rod. Ha <laughs> ha. Saffron didn't want to admit that he had never successfully made a fire, either. But he was sure he'd somehow manage if he just tried hard enough. Ready to catch their breakfast, the other princes took off their boots and walked to the shore. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. <laughs> After reaching the waters, they rolled up their pants and took off their shirts. And finally waded into the lake, approximately 10 meters apart from each other. Why you join in on the summerly atmosphere? Saffron 2 took most of his clothing! <laughs> it just so happens that every what we wear is appropriate for, for the water. Who would have thought? It remained questionable whether this was the wisest idea given his task. Once he had changed, Saffron started to gather wood he and Ode brought back. Piled it up on the beach's sand to the best of his abilities. Even though he wasn't sure if that was the best ground to start fire on. Once the easy part was done, Saffron started to stare at the wood. How was he supposed to light it out? It would only take a second with Hans' magic, but Saffron didn't want to ask for help. As Hans and O's were passionately trying to catch some fish. Saffron surely didn't want to interrupt them. His attention wavered and he found himself looking at the other princes more and more. Uh, 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 look at O. And Saffron looked at O. Time after time, he thrust his improvised spear into the water. If anything, it looked exhausting. Maybe he would have been more successful if he waited a bit more in between tries. Eventually, I would seem to have noticed this too. Done more observant and waited for the right moment to try and impale his prey. Oh, success rate was still less than stellar, but occasionally he seemed to land a hit. Saffron could tell because every now and then, O's movement stopped. And he raised his spear after muttering a quiet apology. Once he had got more fish than he could easily hold, he returned to the shore. O dropped the fish in front of Saffron and looked at him with a pained expression. Oh! Just take a break real quick. The Briton said before slowly walking to the edge of the forest. And Saffron decided to return to his current task at hand. He had distracted himself long enough and they needed a fire if they wanted to eat. Saffron had read that quickly spinning a stick caused a friction line of fire. But he felt like that was not all there was to it. The pile of wood itself would certainly not withstand such a motion. Saffron took a small log of wood, placed a stick on top of it, determined to set it aflame. He had no idea about the exact technique, but Saffron still did his best. His palms ran hot and the wood hurt his skin, but he could feel some heat from the log. Minutes passed and the fatigue made his arms heavy. But eventually Saffron thought he could see smoke rising from the wood. Nothing more happened, though. Exhausted, he took a break and rethought his approach. He needs some tinder. Oh yes, I was just getting to that. You see, the key is to find a good way to make Saffron realize what he needs. 
Good stories eat time, so just lay back and watch it unfold. What? You don't think this is an important enough point to hold up the story? All right, all right. I'll think of something. A nest of tinder, Prince Saffron. A mysterious voice whispered into the princess' consciousness. You need a tinder nest, it repeated. Confused by its origin, but excited by the flash of inspiration, Saffron jumped up. He gathered dry grass and hay lying about and repeated the process, procedure from before. This time, with a tinder nest to catch the spark. Soon, the prince held a tiny fire in his hand. He placed it down on the fire, placed and carefully felt it, it fed it wood until it grew in size. When his companions returned with their aquatic booty, a sizable fire was already burning. Well done, pr well done, Princess Saffron. I see I was right to trust you with this job. Yeah, looks like we'll actually get to eat now. So then, about the prospect of food, Princess gathered around the fire. Since he had his dagger, Hans was tasked with preparing the fish. Although he was not exactly happy about having to degrade it to a butcher's knife. Odin Saffron grilled the fish, and even though most ended up burnt or unevenly cooked, it still felt like this meal was at least on par with the feasts they were used to. In the early afternoon, after having eaten their fill, they had to pack up and leave the forest. Well, the next child waited right around the corner, because now they had to figure out which way they had to go to reach their destination. Well, let's take a break real quick. Our princesses are starting to get some control over the situation again, don't you think? But don't worry, this journey will be far from a cakewalk. Next part will be exciting. I've prepared all kinds of ways for the princesses to use their strengths. So what would you like to see? Less again when it gets important. Just gauging the general interest here. They should ride on a bear! <laughs> hmm. Ah, we're only allowed this one page. Fair enough. Fair enough. I want to see more, or Saffron should be a bit more useful for me. Hmm. But, he just made a fire. Sure, he needs some interdimensional help to get it started, but he's doing his best. I like where you're coming from, though. He's the hero, and he hasn't accomplished much yet. But that's what character development is for. Now, enough of that. Let's continue. Princess is lost. Whoops. No time. Soon after finishing their meal, they got dressed. Packed what few belongings they still had, head out into the forest again. Hmm. So, my princes, we have successfully entered the forest, but that doesn't quite change that we're still lost. On the contrary, we can hardly even make out the midday sun from here. First of all, we should figure out which direction we have to go in. If only we had the compass. Can we, can't we still look at the sun for directions? We could, but we don't have much room for error if we want to escape this forest before dusk. I'd rather use a more reliable method. Why don't we just ask for the word? Ask? And just who do you intend to ask, dear Ode? Well, sooner or later we're bound to come across some animals, right? You didn't seriously suggest us why well, beasts for directions. Besides, have you forgotten that there are no animals around? I'm sure they'll come back. And they know this forest better than anyone. Good gosh! I'm afraid you must have been hit by heat stroke. You are not making any sense. No, are you serious? Ode can talk to animals. Excuse me? Not you too, Prince Saffron. Well, why don't you just tell me how you intend to get out of this forest, then? You must have a great plan if you're just shooting down ideas. I do, in fact, have a much more sensible plan. I'll produce us a canvas. Are you trying to kill us? Heard conjuring is the most dangerous of all magic forms. You should die for some petty tool. Then perish in this forest all by yourself. Because I will leave whether you come along or not. Not to mention, amateur shouldn't try to berate the master on his field of expertise. What exactly is the master's plan? Or as I want to comp conjure a fully functional compass, I'll just make one. Transmutation is a lot safer than conjuring. Only you need a needle and we're good to go. Hmm. So what exactly makes it safer? I could spend all day trying to explain it to you, sire. Just try me this once. Fine. But I still don't like it. Do you have another idea, Prince Saffron? Just in case. Why don't we climb the trees and take a look at our surroundings? We're headed for the mountains, so it should be easy enough to see where we have to go. Well, uh... That does sound reasonable and simple. Yeah, but which plan do we follow now? Well, there are only two viable options, and I'm not about to climb a tree. Funny, 
Just about to say, I'm not going to trust some iffy magic compass. Well, Prince Saffron, would you do us the honors again? Much as I hate to admit it, we are never going to come to an agreement otherwise. Yeah, what do you think is the best plan to get out of this fort? Uh, not to be a... Hmm. Well, not to be a me, but... I think my idea is the best. Well, fair enough. Yeah, sounds good. At least there won't be any unpleasant surprises with this one. Then let's get on with it. I don't want to be stuck in this forest any longer than necessary. Alright. So he's gonna climb the tree. I already said I wouldn't do this. I mean, I could do it, but these branches look awfully flimsy. You sure you're not just afraid of heights? Shut up! I'm not afraid of heights. just don't want to fall. Well, I do have to admit you give off more of a canine bearishness than feline grace. What are you even talking about now? My princes! I can see the mountain! I can see Mount Brassica! Prince Saffron, where did you climb the tree? I think if we just go in that direction, we should get out of the forest pretty soon. Oh, really? That's great! Then just come down and we can get going. Uh. Oh no, don't tell me he is afraid of heights. I'm not! Tree just didn't look quite this tall from the ground. Well, we have to get you down from there somehow. I can climb up and help you if you want. No, no, no. With our luck, you'll be stuck there too, and I'll have to rescue you both. I'm not that clumsy. Why don't I just stay up here? We're talking nonsense, Princess Saffron. Can't just leave you in the forest. No, that, that's not what I meant. These trees go pretty close to each other. I think I could just jump from one to the next. And how is that less scary than simply climbing down? Yay! Don't like that one misstep and you'll break your neck, Prince Saffron. Just climb down. I promise we'll catch you if you foul. Prince Saffron carefully considered his options. Really? Think I just jumped down and you catch me from the get-go? I genuinely don't understand the criteria by which he decides what is scary and what isn't. Sure, we'll catch you. Just come down so we can get out of this forest. But who will catch him? We can't just move in both at once. Oh, come on, not now. Let's just decide to get this over with. Do you trust this Hulk to catch you safely, Prince Saffron? I'll tell you, my magic arms will be much gentler. Yeah, before they turn us all to ash. That's not how magic works. Read a book before you spread your fear-mongering nonsense. I wouldn't trust those feeble arms of his to catch you, magic or not. You need enough strength to cushion the impact of such a jump. Why don't we let Saffron decide? It's his neck that's on the line here. Why, my me? So whose arms do you want to jump into, Prince Saffron? <laughs> well, Odes. I'll trust Ode. What did I say? Strength is reassuring. And so triumphantly flexed his arms. Well, maybe two simpletons. Make sure you don't break his neck by accident. Of course I won't break his neck. What do you take me for? And now move aside. I have to catch Prince Saffron. And so confidently walked up to the tree and got into position. Stands look equally balanced and firm, reassuring, as Saffron thought. All right, Prince Saffron, ready when you are. Saffron moved to the edge of the branch he was on, trying to hard to ignore his nervousness. He looked down at Ode and jumped after just a moment of hesitation. Ho, ho, ho! The vol was over surprisingly quickly, and Saffron found himself in the arms of Prince Ode. Third sound is off beating rapidly. And Pavica's Ode still held him close. And Saffron could feel how strong the prince from Barra was. <sighs> his muscular arms, his well-defined chest, the firm but gentle grip of his hands, and the comforting warmth of his body. Are you alright, Prince Saffron? Yes, as their eyes met. Saffron only nodded, gave Ode a grateful smile. But the other put him back down. Well, would you look at that? You actually did it. I thought for sure you'd fall over or at least hurt your back. And so smiled wildly as he let go of Saffron. Two friends of the separated and Ode slowly turned around. What are you talking about? I would never hurt my back so easily. Ha ha ha. Far slower than normal. Ode straightened his posture. And it didn't escape Prince Hans's gaze. Whatever you say, Prince Ode. Knowing smile crept up onto Prince Hans's face. Should we go then? And Hans said and heartily slapped Ode on the back. Causing a stifled yelp in the process. Oh, do you need a break? No, no, what are you talking about? Let's just go. 
Well, don't blame me if your pride is going to be your downfall, one day. Oh, I'm pretty sure you're going to play a much greater part in that than my pride. Oh, it's through clenched teeth as he tried to make his movements look effortless. He resists to start walking in the direction that Saffron led them towards. All three of them were fully focused on making sure they'd stay on the right path. Ultimately, there was no way for them to tell if they actually did. Well, a few times Saffron offered to climb up another tree to check, but it had his offer quickly denied. The sky turned darker, forests cleared, and the prisons found themselves at a river. This is surely the limit, they happily proclaimed as they searched for a way to cross it. First, they wondered whether to walk upstream or downstream. But the clock was still ticking, so they had to continue south towards the mountains. So downstream it was. It only took them a... Ah, uh, hold on one second. It only took them a... Uh, it only took... I can't believe this is happening right now. I'm sorry, I've never had a problem with one of the backdrops before. Scene builder! The bridge is stuck, please do something. Boy, this is embarrassing. <laughs> so do you like theater? I love it. The way it can transport you into different worlds. I was already captivated when I was little. And my love for it only deepened when I first stepped on the stage myself. Oh well, I did. There's something truly special about the connection between actor and audience. You can't really take that outside of the theater hall. Don't feel like you have to reply. I'm just trying to bridge the gap until the bridge is fixed. <laughs> Get it? Bridge the gap. It's funny because it's a bridge and, uh... Ah, there we go! Thank goodness. Now, where were we? <clears throat> Him. And it took them a short while to find a bridge and beyond it, a small road. Oh, let's hope this road will lead us to a village or an inn. Maybe a real one? For a change? Please don't joke about that. I thought I was going to die last night. Who say not? There's no reason to be scared with everyone else around. I'm not scared! You saw right now. In any case, following the path is pretty much our only choice right now. At least it seems to bring us closer to the end. Let's go as far as we can before we have to set up camp. And so they went on, before eventually coming across another person on this lonely road. Wait, did you see that? See what? There's someone there. What if it's another bandit? Looks like they're pulling a handcart. What bandit would do that? One who's prepared. How else would they carry their loot? Even if it is a bandit, you have the advantage of numbers this time. Are you sure it's not just a, mer a merchant? Hmm. <laughs> that could very well be. Let's hope that that's the case. That way we can buy some more ration. Feeling less than secure about the stranger ahead of them, princes move forward. Turns out, it was indeed a traveling merchant. Excuse me, sir, would you mind letting us take a look at your wares? My, how tragic! I just packed up for the day. I'm afraid there's not much to look at. And I'm afraid! This is where we're gonna have to stop. I actually like this one a lot. I like this one a lot. I appreciate... How, I appreciate a smaller cast. I appreciate the cast also all being together. And I appreciate I pre the aesthetics of this in particular is very charming as well. So I think I most assuredly am going to be coming back to this one. I love it. I love it. It's cute. Also, Ode is hot. There I said it. I said it. And I'm not afraid to say it again. Ode is hot. So. So, that was, I got distracted by something, sorry. I got distracted by memes. That was, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Brassica, A Merry Tale, by Boys Laugh Plus. Pretty good. I enjoyed it. Moving out.
Oh, this also has two-player local co-op. Oh, an Xbox controller support! Yes! Oh, you can choose who to be. That's neat. Okay, anyway, let me um, actually capture this for y'all. Well, just start playing and forget to do that. Alright, this is Bra Brathian, or Brathian, or however it would be pronounced. Um, by Pangake. Pangake. Pancake. I apologize if I said your name wrong, but it is by that person. And it is a lovely um, retro style action adventure platformer. Now, it does have two player. Local co-op, of course, I got no one here locally with me, so it'll just be me, but I guess it lets you choose between the two, so I'll be Edgar. A long time ago, this was the land full of magical power. That was very retro. But all that power brought many wars. And so the elders decided to seal all this power in a crystal. For peace to prevail, the crystal was hid. And although this knowledge seemed forgotten, the book which had this story was read once again. God damn it, why would you? Shaking Brathian with their eyes. Wherever the danger, Edgar and Amy, as their ancestors before them, prepared to defeat the Guardian. And use their power to fight whoever tries to reveal the crystal. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Nothing this way. Wait, that's not true. There are things that way. Ah. Oh, I see. Whoop. Dangerous to me at all, actually. I'm just, I'm just being a dick. Yes, you are. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, I can't go that way. I possibly need a double jump ability or something. So I have six hits, technically. Didn't know if that was going to be like an extra hard or a... Okay.
Ow. <clears throat> okay. Do that. Much easier. That heart was probably a full heal is what that heart was. Whoops. Go one second. There we go. God, getting fucking owned by bunnies. Okay, yeah. I think I get a double jump ability is what this seems to be implying. be more metrovania style ah, well i should have known that was gonna happen and yet somehow i did not okay nothing there for me Spawn off screen kind of dealios, yes. Stupid asshole. Ah, you bitch! You bitch! That's a good, that's, that's actually a good de detention to detail right there. Uh, maybe going this way wasn't the best thing I should have done. Hmm, because I can't do anything down there. And there's something over here I do. Nope, this is all over here. Nope, going this way was the wrong idea, I suppose. God. Ugh. Okay. Got him. Ah, no. Ah, no. Ah, you bitch.
Ah! Ah! Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh! F okay. Oh! Oh, I know! Oh, alright. I guess that's not it either. <laughs> that's not the way. It's not the way. Ah, you bitch! Son of a gun. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. There we go. Ow! <laughs> Ow. Ah! Arrogance. Not the correct way to go. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. don't have the ability to do that yet, for sure. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Okay, we're not ready for that. We're not ready for down there, for sure. Okay, I can still do that. Oh my god, let me out. Let me out. <laughs> Come on now. Um. Okay. Okay, come on. Ah!
Oh! Well, I went the right way, so that's good. Away with thee. stuck down here now. Take that. Right. Right, we're definitely making progress now. I need him to get distracted by the flies. So I can move him for a hit. Oh, you bastard. Maybe? I, I actually don't know now. Um... Ah, damn it. Oh, I'm probably gonna get... Yep. Oh, that's annoying. Ah, fuck. Oh! Ah! 
Everything's fine. Whoa! It's almost bad. Ah! You little bitch. Think you're better than me? Ow! Oh my god! <sighs> it's fine, I'm fine. Yeah, I think he's gonna give me the ability to double jump. That's what he's gonna give me. Oh, there we go. Ah, I missed. Okay. So now that I understand this better, I uh, shit. Oh, come on. Oh, what? Eat the fly! Eat the fly! Oh, why? I hate you. I hate you, frogman. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Why? No! Die to him. Move slightly faster than you, so I need you to. Ah! Mm. Oh, this is just like Dark Souls. Oh. Uh, missed my opportunity on that one. I think I got two more hits on this guy. Ah, oh, that's the worst spot for you. I can't do anything. Fly. Uh, what? No! Ah, what ass. What massive ass. Okay, anyway. I hate all of you. God put you on this earth and I'm going to take you off. Alright, anyway. Alright. Bitch. Okay, there we go. And a wumpus. Ugh. 
<sighs> Fucking killing me, flies! I need you anywhere but where you are right now. Fuck! No, it's gonna despawn. Or respawn. Well, that works. Okay, now I'm getting the hang of this. Now I'm getting the hang of fighting a frog. Ow! Oh, you! 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 <laughs> Get back here! I need to get down here. Get down. Thank you. Oh! Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, fuck. Of course you're right there. Come on. Come right here. I don't fundamentally understand what I got. Oh, I can breathe in water now. Oh. Oh. Be cool if I get out of the water. There we go. Oh, slimy boy. Honestly, when I think frog, I think jump, so I thought that was gonna be like the double jump or whatever, but hey, I'll take I'll take that. Ow! Fish. Wow! Evil murderous fish. Anyway. Well, no, I do know. There's a water section over here. On the back. Ah! No way I could. I could go back. Oh! Oh dear. Here we go. Yep. Ow. 
now. Maybe I'm not ready for that yet. Also, it's the music from the <laughs> underwater area section. How you stop? What well, is over here? Let's see. Oh, it was more. That's right. It was more water over here. I'm just gonna stay stuck there. Or what's going? Hi, fish. That's a new heart. But how do I get to that? Uh, I need that double jump. Yeah, because I can't make it from either side. Oh yeah, this is where I need to go. Woo! Desert level. Desert level. Actually start be able to oh my god die thank you oh can I actually get that no don't go away okay how do I chest That makes no sense. Whoops. Fucking die. <laughs> hmm. 
Brave in brave break to break to break to break to break to Ooh, an oasis or something maybe. Yes. Ah, Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god! Okay, I thought it was, but it's not. No! Okay, this is the beginning of the area, okay. Fuck off. Oh my god, die. Well, bye, I guess. Gonna lie, don't like this. Whoa! I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, that was poison. I, I had been poisoned. And I'm dead. Ah. Damn it. Just when you thought you could. Oh boy. <sighs> Whoa! They fucking kill you, dude. It's poison. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Fucking hell. How am I supposed to do anything about that? Yeah. Ooh yeah. Oh! A poison. Yeah. Fuck! Are you fucking... Am I ready for this? Who knows? <laughs> but what I do know is... It's time to move on. This is cute! I don't know if I'm going the right way, cause... 
Ugh. You know, maybe I need something else. Maybe I need a stronger sword. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I hope... Oh, press left to right to change it. Oh, cool. We can restart. Cool. So, that'll do it for Brathian. Not bad, Pangeik Bangake, however you say your death name. Pretty good. Lovely little retro style. And a good, decent challenge. As I was getting my bearings there, I was figuring myself out. So, good, decent challenge. But, alas, we must now move on. All right. We're halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. Brave Hero Yusha X. Whoa! Ooh. Brave Hero Yushex by Torch60. Looks like your typical RPG. Possibly RPG Maker. The Hero and the Demon. Ah! Looks like today's story is about to get started. Today we'll be reading The Hero and the Demon, one of my favorites. Ahem. Ooh. There's once a castle in the great kingdom of Landia. <laughs> They said that in time of need, a great hero will arise through the world of evil. Oh, what did the hero look like again? Oh. How will your character appear? The choice is cosmetic and will not affect gameplay or dialogue. You have an opportunity to change this later. I'll take left. Oh! Yes, that looks exactly like the hero I remember. Ahem, get our tail on the dawn of a new adventure. But what kind of adventure are we going on? Ah, I'll take a normal adventure, please. Normal mode is the game's standard mode and provides a moderate level of challenge. It changes the game's difficulty at any time. So the game in normal mode, yes. Ah, excellent! That sounds like a great story already. Ahem, go oh, then. Oh, I thought what? An unexpected journey. Oh. I'd be as of days, your highness! The hero legend has appeared before us. Splendid! Oh yeah, splendid, splendid, splendid. By all means, set the little dickens in and let's have a look at the new hero. Er, y yes I shall do that at once! I'm so proud of you, my child. <gasps> to think that you would set forth as a hero on today, your 17th birthday! A hero? Yes. It was written that a great hero would arise on the 17th birthday to rid the world of despicable evil. Well, I... That you were destined for the stay. Yes, of course. So proud of you. Wait, I don't... Ahem! I look at this fine young hero ready to venture out into the unmanageable wilderness of service all. I hold rather power vested in me and this king of this land that I hear by name. Tuh. Is there enough room? No, there isn't. There's not enough room for Scully. Oh, whoops. Oh. Uh, how do I... How do I go back? Ah! Okay. I'll just be a skier then.
Yeah, that's what I thought. Excuse the legendary brave hero Yusha! I said, hold on! You're the only half our kingdom. You and you alone. There's a lot you are, brave hero Yusha. Uh-oh. Is what I would be saying right about now, but I'm feeling rather spry today, aren't you? Go with me, youngster. Let me show you a little trick my pappy taught me. Wait, did this always happen? Oh yeah, there's the Demon Lord's castle, just to the north. What dire times these are when Demon Lords can build their keeps just a stone throws away. What is the Demon Lord's castle? I must find seven sacred artifacts in this fabulous kingdom. I was incredibly droll, and I'm not a big believer in tradition. So off you go, then. What? Well, counting on you, Askia. Don't remember this part at all. Here's the Swiss Engine Council until much later. Is this someone's idea of a joke? Is it even the right book? Uh, well, let's keep going and see where this takes us. And so Askia has found themselves in the lair of the Dashley Demon Lord. Those who fear and loathe them as... <laughs> the demon lord roll. I'm not going to be able to get it all the way, unfortunately, Roland. So you'll just have to settle for Roland. Roland. The sinister demon lord Roland! So with their mighty swell, I mean their enchanted legendary arm. The scattered few munitions they start out, the little thing they see out, scared prepared to confront Roland in a mighty contest of arms. I. Interact, open menu. Okay. Here, open the treasure chest. Appearance gem. You can access this item in the key items menu to change your appearance. Mail. What about mail? Here with the treasure chest. Focus shard. Oh. I have nothing. Whoops. I have leather shit. F five, full screen, F six, two times window. Oh. Hey. I like the look of that. The demon key. Okay. HALT! How dare you manage to lay out the great power of demon lord? Psst! I don't think he's here lying yet. Yeah, well, nobody told me the hero would be here so soon. What do you want me to do, huh? Are you sure this is okay? I mean... See? You don't know either. So let's just go with it. Uh, prepare to die! Heroic dash. Ouch! Ouch! Aha! Ho ho! But you made tower! You will never go! See, I told you it would be fine. Alright, fine. Whatever. Uh, huh. Equip new items in the equip menu. Ah. Okay. Well, I was dismissing you early. This, my dear hero, in fact, you are nowhere near on cue. Where are you for this role, anyway? I'll go home. Listen, kid, there's a system of tricks and balances that makes sure folks like us do these sorts of adventures properly. What do you mean you had nothing to do with this? You're the hero of the story! You're the Yusha! So let's go on a grand adventure and save me! The Great Princess! Then. <laughs> it's already turning out to be the worst ending of the story ever! It's all your fault! You saw Shadowy Figure do what to the king? See, the story I know is that the king never leaves his throne room. 
That sounds like. Forget the details! Ugh! Let's just finish up the story so we can go home. Uh, yes, ma'am. Please don't yell at me again. Ahem! You have come far to challenge me in my lair, fair hero. But now you shall. What? Uh. Oh, what is happening to my beautiful fortress? Ah! Forget him, we're out of here! Let's get out of here, hero! Um. Uh, alright. The door is locked. You don't have the right key. Oh, bother. You know, I think I left the key around somewhere. And toss this rule in all my fortress there and give the key us on you. Yes, I sure do run a tight ship around here, y'all. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm mostly certain that I left the key downstairs somewhere. Mostly. So let's get to it. Hold up that moment! Well, now. I'm not sure what the blaze is going on right now, but you're lucky to be someone like me. I'm not even sure how I got here either. So the fortress is falling apart. Also, the crazy things are going on outside. Monsters have gone completely rogue! My monsters have gone rogue! I'm the demon lord around here! How dare they! Godless, that's something that may be of use. Use this crystal to restore your health if you're worn down. Sure, it'll come handy. Oh. I just remembered! I thought about saving recently. So I say it's just one of those things that won't get itself done, you know? Just keep track of your own deeds. So I say every now and then by opening the menu. Yeah. Sure. Ah, so we already have all the dudes, I suppose. Oh! Dire fire! Oh. For a demon dude, you seem to do something else. Don't think fire on a fire does the job. Ow! Ow! This is cute. I love a good, I love a well-made RPG. Hey, focus shard, nice. Is this the... Whoa. Grumpy glare! Ouch. 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 Box potion. Whoa. Ron's wrist. You can now move boulders. Uh, 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 dope. That's awfully sudden. Ah, they're here. Dash heroically! I'm surprised I even know this. It's like, wasn't prepared for this moment. Got him! Ha, got him! Oh! Dope. I'm sensing a pattern. Let's see what ice damage does to you, grumpy glare. 
Ouch. Ooh! That's what Daddy likes to see! Push the boulder. Ah! Well, I know what's gonna happen to you, Frost Sprite, if I do that. Ha! Nice! See, I must make you a path. Damn it. Um... Comet Strike. Oh, Star Element Damage. Nice. Ouch. Nice. Mint Leaf? What's Fire doing with Mint? Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. Boom! Bang! Ooh! Daddy likes it! Lameo, the giant eye is blinded. Love it. Alright. Ah, oh, you sassy bassy. Oh, I'm fine shiz now. Oh. This one. Minty Fresh. Ouch! 
Ah, yes. Mmm, that feels so good. It is so tight around my buttocks. Red key! You gotta open red doors. Oh, just in general, I see. Okay. Ouch! Ah, <laughs> dire fire. It rhymes. Whoa! Alright. Not frost. There's nothing left on my beautiful castle! Who the dickens would do such a thing? I need to kill you! So maybe you don't focus on you not dying? Yes, I suppose. Lord Roland! We'll see if the monster's gone haywire! Believe me, I'm more than aware. I'm sure they're still smart enough not to pick a fight with someone really strong. Normally you might see a red exclamation bubble when you're about to fight. But, if your party's strong enough, maybe blue instead. If that's the case, press the Z button you won't have to fight them. Could be worth a shot. Oh. Oh. Well, there's an assigned the role of demon lord just to my castle turned down. Don't you know who's responsible for this? You must admit, this is quite a bit more fun. Who are you? What did you do to my castle? Don't they think it's all so droll? These were stories of heroes, princesses, and demon lords. I tell a story we already know. Wouldn't you rather have a bit more fun than that? What will the story hold in store for you now? <laughs> hey! Hey! Was it finished with you? Give me back my castle! Ah, I'll go on a fight. XP is always a good. Nice! Wow, not nice. Oh, you bitch. Alright. Oh, him again. Okay. You having fun there, buddy? Actually, I'm curious about this other attack. Ooh. Nice seeing you here. Hey, you know, I get the feeling something big is right around the corner. It's my guess, though. Feel free to use this crystal before you go. Ooh. Mm. 
<laughs> what fun this is! Wonder what will happen next? Fun? You call this fun? No, this is the exact opposite of fun! We're all at the risk of plowing our deaths! You know something about all this, don't you? Why? I know a lot of things. I know how the story begins, just as you do. What happens after the prologue? Well, I have no idea. Hey, I know that part. The hero leaves the castle and... Ah, but that's not part of the story anymore. That's not the puppeteer story. If you're not, I shall show you what comes next. Oh, what is that? Isn't this your fortress? You should know exactly what's in it. Uh, oh yeah, it's that thing. You are in the place protecting the something something. I'm not so sure about that either. Oh, what will come next? Can't wait to see. Oh, Castle Sentry Iron Gate. Oh. Oh, interesting. Ow. Ooh. Let's try fire. Ow! Ooh, jeez. Fire did a bit more damage than frost. Ouch. Alright. I figured that was going to happen. Let's try something here. I actually hate bosses having boss immunity to effects. I think it's kind of boring. There we go. Nice. Chapter 1. End. The hero and the demon. Yeah, sure. Brave as you are. Does everyone truly love and respect you, Yusha? Probably not. That concludes our reading for today. Now on the subject of your homework. But Mr. Elias, summer vacation's next week. What are we gonna do homework? Now, oh, this, I was not excited. Now calm down, I was just getting to the fun part. There's no paper to write. It's same as simple. Draw what you think the Yusha looks like. Oh man, I love drawing. That's easy. Can you say best homework ever? Glasses are dismissed for the day, so why don't you kids go out and play before you start your homework tonight? Aren't you going to play Edward? Well, it's a perfectly beautiful day out. So I'm why you should coop yourself up in the study hole again. Okay, Mr. Elias. I'll go out in just a minute. That's the spirit. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow. Hmm. You should valiantly strike down the sinister demon lord of peace return to the land. Someone that brave must look really strong. Uh, I guess I better go outside. 
Oh, interesting. Hey! Oh, she said word. I don't think this would be a bit anxious to you. You never show up to birthday parties anyway. Uh-oh. Ed, what I know studying is important. I just want to children to their studies as seriously as you do. Now, you're staying after school all the time like this. It's still starting to get upset with me. Interesting. Hop, hop, hop! Bow face! <laughs> Edward, you haven't gone home yet? Thinking all about a lot what the Yushu must look like. Don't you think it must be very strong and fearless? Uh, I don't know. Just a story, Edward. I got more important things to do. Like playing army guys. You going to summer camp, Edward? Yeah, my parents are making me go again. You sound so sad. Summer camp is the best! Oh. Ooh. I like the remastered. Lunchtime is long since ended, Edward, and maybe your mom can fix you something when you get home. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Is someone crying? Oh, Edward, I heard you scored a 100 on your last test. How do you do it? So, Benny. I want my Benny back. I am. Um, who is Benny? He's my toy rabbit. My last man, I don't know where he is. Ah, oh, jeez. I haven't seen your rabbit anywhere around. So sorry. No one will help me find him. Everyone's too busy playing. Can't sleep without my Benny. Hmm. What do you should do in this situation? Okay, okay. Hang tight, I'll see if anyone has found your rabbit. So stay here, okay? Better ask around. A toy rabbit? Nope, can't see I've seen such a thing. I really want to go play in this here. Toy rabbit? Did you check the cafeteria? I can't anything tell me that's where a toy rabbit would be. One, two, three, four, something, something out the door. Toy rabbit! This is the armor soldier! Stuff rabbit. I don't need something like that. Mr. Elias, have you seen a plush rabbit anywhere? A plush rabbit? You never struck me as the type of don't stuff animal, Edward. I... It's not for me! There's a girl outside and she lost her rabbit. Are you telling me the truth? You didn't just want an excuse to come back inside, did you? No, I swear, Mr. Elias! I just wanted to help. So the Yusha would do. At least help people in need. Tell that you are being sincere. Well, I was going to take this to the lost and found, but you have a mission to finish, don't you? Thank you, Mr. Elias. I'll go return right away. Don't worry about tonight's homework. Just play of kindness like this. You may consider the assignment finished. Have a good rest of the afternoon, Edward. I don't know what I'll do without my Benny. Well, maybe a rabbit, would it? Never. You found him! You thought we'd never see him again! Well, I mean, I didn't really find him, Mr. Elias. Just as brave and kind as the Yusha! I wouldn't say I am. Now you have to swear to protect me! Found my Benny! Now I know I can count on you if I'm ever in trouble! Uh, hey, hold on. Don't have parents who will protect me anymore. I have it for almost a year now. It's like I have no one. Yusha wouldn't turn a blind eye to someone in need. Okay! If you ever need help, you can count on me! Promise? Yes! It's a promise. It's a promise, then. Oh, he never got your name. Uh, it's Edward. Just Edward. I'm Ashlyn. Hope we'll see each other again soon. Perhaps I'll be even more like the Yusha for you one day, Ashlyn. Can only hope. Hmm. Interesting. Disjointed kingdom. This is what we call unfortunate now, isn't it? What? My castle! My impervious and fantastically sinister castle! 
There's nothing left of it. This will take months. Yes, rebuild! I mean, labor hours is going to cost me. Well, what are you so upset about? Is there a story? The Lord is slain by the hands of the heroic Yusha! The Citadel is rent asunder and peace returns to the land! Deep shit! Wait. You! That is what would happen if you just follow the script even if you're supposed to! Then you should have done everything like you were supposed to! Maybe you were impossible! Hey, hold on! I don't think they really know what's going on either. What about the guy who unleashed that monster? You're a monster! MY monster to attack us! Who was that and how was he able to control so easily? I wonder what is happening as well. Hey! You're the jerk who... Wait, no, you're the guy we met on the way down! Story has been told so many times yet I never thought I would foresee such a turn of events. I think it's out of place and out of order. It's all so wrong! So you mean someone has... Rewritten the story? Yes. That very much... Well, yeah. That very much what it looks to be. Which, what good is a story tell if I can't tell a story I don't know? So you're a narrator then? Let's just find out who was writing the story and stop him! Ho ho ho! Do you not think I would have done so by now if I could? But as a storyteller, I can only guide the plot forward. I'm afraid whatever happens here is against my direct responsibility. Um, sir, what does that mean? It means you can't do anything, you don't! Oh, so what do we do now then? Why? Put the story back together, of course! Look here! Your castle is yet to be destroyed. Look! There's no rubble to be found. Whatever our top hatted friend has done does not appear to have destroyed your castle. No, it's simply been misplaced. The story does not end until the castle is destroyed, just as you said, young lady. So all you have to do is find it. And I believe our dear hero here is up to the task. Please go home. Other parts of the story may have been misplaced as well. You should head to the beginning, the very castle you started your journey from. I have a tall order if you ask me. But that guy, the puppeteer, seriously rubs me the wrong way. And no one one ups the great demon Roland and gets away with it. Aye, I'll show him. Sir, so it's settled. I shall meet you again soon. But if you're unsure of what to do next, I have something that might be of assistance. Mind me, Jim. Oh yeah, it's just straight up gone. Return fair village. Be honest, we're expecting you much later. It's not my business to be asking the questions around here. The rest of the town of Iswald welcomes you. And see if I've ever seen the monsters are riled up. What are they working for now? Some guy in a hat. We're gonna go ask the king why he sent our hero in so early. Some great evil you turned out to be! I think it's just in case things are tricky on your way back. What does the fucking mint leaf do? Oh. This is dangerously close to the evil demon lord's castle. We live our lives every day in fear. Hey, come on. I may not be the most ideal neighbor out there. But evil? I'm sorry if I fed you somehow, but words hurt sometimes. I'll grow up! Yeah, I'd say that now, I know. It looks like I will have to come back. Oh. Not 11. Oh god, anything but 11. There we go. Oh.
We'll do this. Cause I'm actually I'm actually casting pretty hardcore with her, so. Ah, that's perfectly. I'm I got a good amount of stuff on me. Okay. Well actually let me save in here. There we go. Whoa! Pain! Oh! Ouch! No! Wow! Yeah, that's what I thought. I figured that was a secret. Ooh. Some dang water. Oh, that's a cave. Oh, yeah, this is the castle we started at. Ouch. Ouch. Lost store for you. Everyone's been all a scare this and a scare that. Just get tired of hearing it, huh? What I'm saying is, we want people to call you by a different name. Come talk to old verbatim here. I'll get some paperwork done for you. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. 
can't get back in my dad's shop. No, the information shop. Wish I had it. Jesus. Interesting. Ah, another moon gear. Interesting. Isn't this just lovely? So I swooped down on no one left us this mess to clean up. What a pickle. I guess that means I don't have to show up to work. You're pretty jaded for a clown. You're supposed to make people laugh. Well, you're pretty chummy for a great and mighty demon lord. Besides, was left in this village to bring laughter to. Nearly everyone is gone, and all that's left are these howls. So, uh, people, buildings, you name it. Not quite. These laws do not appear to swallow things. As our friends have witnessed in the Demon Lord's castle, events are happening in ways that we never thought of. I believe that both the bridge and the townspeople have simply been placed elsewhere. But the question is, how do we restore them? Oh, uh, there's nothing to do with it. Why that? <gasps> it's a page! A missing page of the story! Perhaps if you collect these, you can restore what's missing. Clean the townsfolk in the bridge as well. The purple guy dropped this before he headed to the cave to the east. Boy, I bet you that's where he took everything else as well. You can have it. Someone tells me that someone like you is better off having a fancy thing like this. Just like we're on the right track. Good luck, Eskia! The brave hero, Yusha. Okay, so these people are aware they're in a story, so I guess that makes sense. So they're be they they being perfectly casual. Not as casual as one could be, I suppose. So, Bronze Helm, Wood Helm. Yeah, Bronze Helm and a Wood Helm. And what do you have? And then, I guess, a Bronze Pike. Although, it would be good for me, too. It would be mostly good for Roland. So, let's do a little monetary grinding, shall we? Wow! Well, hello there! Actually, no, let's... Ouch! Ouch! Ouch.
Oh. Interesting. Got a sword out of that adventure. Hmm. Ooh, all cure. That's useful. Oh. -ho. Bro, nice. Ha ha! Yeah, bronze helm and a wood helm is what we need next. A few more fights out here should do the trick. Ouch! Oops, I accidentally pressed the Z button. Nice. Whoop. 
Ooh. Ah! Oh! Okay, Frost is a weakness, so that's good to know. I mean, it makes sense. They cast fire, so... Do I keep going until MP is an issue? Whoa! Ooh. Ooh, I saw all frogs. Oh! Nice. Do a few more battles here. Oh, yeah. So we got Frost, Fire, Star, and Dark, I guess. It may be more complicated than I know. Very lucky getting that iron brand. <laughs> more fight and then we'll move on this stuff is stuff I would normally do off stream too once I get into actually streaming this this would be the stuff I would do off stream Ooh. 
Boom, baby! Oh! Ooh, there's a page down there. Oh, well, there's a page right there! Medic Uzi. Squirmy. Oh, we get the opening attack, okay. Pit ahead, watch your step, we guarantee there's nothing interesting or relevant down there. Ooh. Interesting. Nothing good or interesting, you say. Magic snail. My God, could it be? Ooh. Wow. Oh, you bitch. So the Landia pages are the most of this is what we're going for here. Oh. I guess he prepped. He increased his dodge or something? I don't know. <laughs> he was ready to dodge something specific? Don't know. Cat's also screaming, but you know, that's how it is. I learned agony. Ooh. 
Got him. No, ah, no, go away, no reason. Ah, I guess I'm alive again. <laughs> so that's the sounds blacksmith. I've been looking for a real nice one because everyone thinks my son's souls belongs in the trash. Maybe something like this. But oh. Fire my son. Oh my god, dude. It's not that serious, man. You don't have to... Jesus. Someone's already like, oh, thanks, you brought him back. Not like I was happy or anything. Aren't you just a deer? Thanks for saving me and all that jazz. So that they may all be on your journey. Do you know what's got spells like pain and agony? They're all independent of each other, so go to town bringing in the hurt. I wasn't supposed to tell you this. Frankly, I'm not sure what's going on either. Here's a token of my gratitude. Oh, nice. By the way, do you need anything while you're here? Do you need stuff, man? Because I could. I, I got stuff. You saved my pop, now I could just be a regular kid again. <laughs> Hey, 
already! I can see the froggies again! There isn't as many of them before. The game goes back to normal soon. Maybe all the other froggies will come back! You can do that, right? Oh, <laughs> hey! So good to be back! Go on, I can tell you all about status effects. Do I know more? You're just lose HP at the end of each turn. But even more HP is lost each turn. Thankfully, this will not persist outside of battle. Accuracy for your attacks and any bleh, skills are reduced by half. You cannot use skills at all. Okay. You cannot act. Enemy attacks might wake you up. You cannot control your actions and you might attack your own allies. Okay. Lands and healing skills used on you is reduced by half. Your skills cost twice as much to use. You lose your next action. And it's game over. Okay. Are you in my fucking way? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh no! Who's just telling me you found me here? I'd be... Well, don't worry about it. Just take this and don't tell the captain I'm slacking off, okay? I have one more page. All right, looks like you got everything back in order. Now I just need to get through here. Incredible! You really are the brave hero, Yusha. If you can do something like that, Yusha can do anything. Can't think of it. We never got your name, did we? Have you ever heard a story like this where a court just introduced himself by name? Well, it's Horace. Glad you finally found the time to ask, though. No, I just sit in the throne room and pass the time while the hero does their job. So what's going on has been anything but normal, though. The king is acting very peculiarly. Something tells me it's not just surprise or shock like the rest of us are feeling. Be careful if you're looking to speak to him. Hate the idea of throwing away a perfectly good day off, but we're really going to see what's up. Hmm. I can't wait. Taking for days. Nothing makes you please the king. You're a brave hero. You should do something about it. Ooh. Oh look, our seventy-four point seventy-four one point five is taking up these shelves with the space. King will needs to grow up. Don't you like coming into the castle library? Sixty years since I've seen myself stopping. The king doesn't seem to keen to uh, keeping the library open lately, though. Watch your command table until further orders. I was told by the king. That's three days ago. Okay, Terry G, this is the safest table in Landia Castle. <laughs> You're a pretty cool person. Thanks for everything you do. Oh. Well, thanks for the compliment, sir. Yeah, this is what I call a, uh... And that's why we should cut education and defense funding and put it into tourism. Or it looks like a good trip to the Lenny Zoo. Fine elephant for every subject in my kingdom. Uh, not for nothing. But Lenny is pretty miserable little hovel to bring tourism to, don't you think? We have a zoo? Oh, yeah, well, the reconstruction project begins. We'll raise all the houses to the ground and start anew. You and I think that's a bad idea. Who's gotten into you? Yes, that's right. We're going to tell the story like we never told you before. Got a friend here agrees. Wouldn't be any fun if I was the only one basking in such excitement. But I wasn't expecting you three to make it out of that castle in one piece. And that's not fun at all. Then my friend here will show you what fun looks like. Take notes, Mr. Jester. Hey, I got fun signs too, you know. Just not today. Or tomorrow. Or now! Hoo What a bother. So do you brave hero Yusha? The Mad King. Alright, after this battle I will Oh. Oh. So we need to take these guys out. Well, if we cast that. Yep. 
Yikes. Okay. There we go. Hibbity, hobbity! What the dick is going on now? She's not to send our brave hero you show away on a grand adventure. Wait, there's a hero now! Back so soon? But the demon lord had turned everything! Can't say anything like that. There's some sort of conversation to be had here. Xira reluctantly summarizes the events thus far. Well, that sounds like a fine kettle of fish! Preparing the story from scratch! It's hard for you to believe that. Bah ha ha ha! I love it! So does anything can happen at this point? The story won't be finished until you see it through to the end. You're all brave here, you should after all. Hmm! I think I know of something that may help you out. Because I'm just sure you're supporting Relic I've been saving in case of some great catastrophe. Just sure don't let people in there myself. So hey, go there on your own and get it. Come back if you need anything else. Whoa! -ho -ho! Horse! Go, son! Gonna catch yourself a gold sitting on the floor! Great. Back to business as usual, I guess. But hey, looks like we're one step closer to getting the story right. Sometimes I wonder who the real Mad Lord of the story is. Let's go get that treasure here! Ah, oh, jeez. Start when I'm broke again. Sorry about that, friends. Silver key, huh? Hey, that's pretty spiffy key you got! Should have that open the door in the cave. Did you got have someone like me on your side? Whoops! That's like you! Ahem! A scare and that brave entourage of the castle of Radio, the kingdom saved and key in hand. They set off for the desert kingdom of Garmuldo, where they would surely find a clue as to how to come back to the puppeteer. To be honest, I don't know what that means either. See you soon. You're like, nobody around here has their head screwed on straight! Well, I can understand going a bit, uh, wibbly woobly after a while. Doing the same story over and over again. Well, there, yeah, there's a silver door right there. Them moon gears are gonna mean something, I'm sure. 
But that, like I said, that's going to do it for this adventure. I like this. I like Brave Hero Yusha, and this is the extended edition, so there's more to do than the original. I never played the original, so I don't know what else would be new, but there is more to do as well, so hopefully we'll do more of that. But for now, that's it. Excellent job, Torch60. I am loving it. I will definitely be back for more at a later date. Movie now. I know a tragedy that I must quit your game. Well, we have other things we have to do. We have two more games to give uh, their due. And actually, also, I will be right back as I have. Just remembered, it's Wednesday, so I have a uh, laundry I need to be doing. So let's go.
I return. Let's launch this next game. It's called Breaker. By Daniel Linson. Which is a blend of Breakout, Space Invaders, and Ikaruga. Hmm. So let's find out more, shall we? it down here. It's not in my task bar. What? How? Uh, well, it is running, that's for sure. There we go. Oh, weird. Whoa. Oh. Okay. can only be of the color you have, I see. Oh, it's a cute little get to a certain point, I see. Ah! I only move in one direction, according to this. Wait, no! Oh, that's what it is. It's the triggers. Okay. Yeah, but the triggers are probably a smarter way to go about it. Right. No. Oh, depending on the. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. I see. Now I get it. Jeez. Whoo! Ah, shit, shouldn't have done that. Whoo, there we go. Ouch. Ah, shit. Ouch. Ah. Okay. Okay, I do get it, though. Oh, that's cute. Let's see if I can at least try to get myself on the board. Get that. 
Ow! Oh, you little shitlord. Tough moves here. Ah! Ha, ha. Oh shit! Wrong color. Whoa! What is this? Palette unlocked, cool. Oh, oh, it has health. Oh, well, I'm on the board, so that's nice. Time this is tricky, but doable. Ooh, just in time on that one, actually. Fucking it up. Ah. All right, all right. Well, I do, I'm doing skull skew, so let's do skew, huh? Oh, I forgot. Ooh. Well, oh, that hurts. Let's do Astro. I like Astro. Ow! 
Ah, you bitch. Ah, why'd I do that? Ooh. Oh no! Ah, I did that to myself. Oh, tell my okay. Ah, you're checkpointed after a certain point. I see. Yeah, what's the question with that? Woohoohoo! <laughs> just in time for that. Fine. Ah, uh, you again. That why they do that. No, why am I stupid? Phew. Oh, this is an interesting situation I'm myself in. Ah! Yeah. Oh, whoops. That was a foolish move of me. Okay, so we start at a specific point, I see. Score-wise. Right, I 
gonna remember. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. Oh, no. Got rascal. Oh God. Oh, ooh, I like that. Actually. Ow. Ah, Jesus, so it is. There we go. Ah, I should have stopped. Ah, fuck. Uh, Helix. Oh my god, who? There we go. Goodness gracious. Oh!
Oh! Nailed by that thing. Oh shit. still pretty good. Got to rank 5, I guess. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it. Get, get to rank 1 on my own screen, lol. Where does it drop me off now is the question, I guess. 4,000. Wow. That's not very... Should have moved out of the way on that one. Whoops. Oh, triplet. No, why'd I do that? No, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, fuck, no! Ah, shit. Didn't get out of there in time. Now nah, I'm gonna die on this one. Oof. Yeah, based on the last game we have tonight, I'm going to do this one for 24 more minutes. However, as much as I like it, I don't think I will come back to Breaker, but it is fun. I will say that.
There we go. Okay, getting somewhere now, I guess. Not necessarily where we want to be, but you know, somewhere. Oh god, this triangle, motherfucker. No! Nah. <laughs> on one hand, I appreciate it. On the other hand... Inferno. Ooh. What? Like Inferno, let's give Inferno a try. Maybe I don't like Inferno, hold on. Yeah, maybe I don't like Inferno. Try Steel. Ooh. Uh. No, why'd I do that? Ugh. Wow, I completely missed all that, too. Split shots, I see. Ow, dick. in the center. That's going to be fun. Ah, shit. Ooh, Helix boy. Ow. Ah, shit. I mean, I appreciate it on one hand, but... I said that already. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, 
How close did I get? Ooh, I got very close. Oh, man. Uh, what? Really? That's kind of bullshit. Not gonna lie. Getting killed by the environmental shit going around the screen is kind of bullshit. Ooh, triple kill. You love to see it. You uh, love to see it. Ah, oh, the timing. There we go. Whew. Ow, fuck. Oh, God. Okay, those things are definitely aiming for. The rest of them's kind of just shooting. Ah, fuck. Helix. Oh no. Fuck, now I can focus on. Oh no, shit. You shit lord. <laughs> School. So it's just a big arcade style top score kind of dealio. I doubt there's an end point, but you can keep unlocking stuff. So it's cute. It's cute. It's actually really well made for combining all of these um, ideas together. I like it. Excellent job. Um, shoot, I Daniel Lins. Ah, fuck me. Damn it.
Whoa, whoops. Nice. Okay. Oh no, fuck, I wasn't, oh. Those were two hits I sh that was a second hit I really shouldn't have taken. No! No, shit! Well, my, I let my thumb rest on the trigger. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was gonna bump myself up on that one. Alright, this is... Uh, okay. T about ten more minutes of this one, and then we're gonna move on. But pretty fun. Are you fucking kidding? Oh, okay, no, I know. You aren't kidding me. Okay. I mean, on one hand, it's useful. On the other hand, it's just like... Off they go, doing nothing. There we go. No. Ho oh, ho, nice! Oh, nice effing try there, Buckarino. But no sorry, boob. There we go. Ha! Ah, getting sick and tired of that. Oh, whoops. There we go. Okay. Ooh, that was clever. Good job, me. <laughs> you were clever, me. Good job.
<laughs> kind of cheesing it right here right now, to be fairly honest with you. Oh! Hubris. No! Ass. Oh, I missed it! Oh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, having multiple... Having the little dudes flying around while I'm trying to do this is... Uh, um... No, fuck. There we go. Okay, move a little more. Cool. Ooh. That's just a fast shooty boy right there. Ooh. It is a different type of bullet. Nice fucking try. You fucking weirdos. Ooh. Oh, I kinda get it. It's not the most intuitive thing in the world, but I kinda get it. Alright, cool. Now I can just focus on this dude. Ah, shit. Ow. Well, that touched me. No! Ah, balls. Because I haven't seen it second stage yet. No! Oh, well. Ah. Well, that'll do it for Breaker. Fun little arcade game. I wish I had better coordination for it. <laughs> but! Oh, so my actual score is on the left. Yeah, whatever. My actual. Okay, so that's what was my actual score. Okay. Well, still, pretty good. Pretty fun. If you like a good classic arcade style game, I highly recommend Breaker. It's pretty good. Alright, good job, Daniel Linson. Moving on. Now it's on my taskbar. That's all right. Whatever.
correct. So... This next and final one is called do, 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 Breakout Poetry. Now, we had a similar poetry-based game known as Asteria, and, uh, and while I liked the idea, I was disappointed largely by the fact that I couldn't input my own poem. Okay, hold on. This one I don't think you can as well. This one I think is set, but I'm not going into this one with the expectation that I can. So, let's see. Yo by Johan Holm. Or Johan. I think it's Johan. Oh. 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 Oh, do I have to properly? I uh, maybe I don't know. Am I creating my own poem here by hitting it? I don't know. Inspiring, <laughs> unknown remembering during summer, the dragon singing eternal. I witness this spring. Okay. Interesting. Moon child. I whoops. Spiritual doom. We go again. Doom spiritual. Mad. Moon. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute. You probably get more points than if you if it's in the proper order, but a child. Doom, spiritual mad moon, laughing the rest in the dark. Wait, hold on. Doom, spiritual mad moon, a child laughing the rest in the dark. Okay. Ah. Okay, so. Hmm. In fire, a scream at home, shuddering, smiles in glory, ailing, doubt. <laughs> Man, an altar to destroy holy wings. Hopeless. Sunlight comes. Gall mines the altar. I stand, old claws. I. Oh my god, this is. That's it, it's just, it's just trying to break it, I see. Old claws. I wonder if there's actually like a proper sequence or what if these words? Well, maybe that's what that is. Like, because you can see the yellow there, but how, how you would 
maybe the yellow. What? Whoops. All right. Well, let's 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 see. Let's see what happens. Let's. Mm, no. Oh, wait. Whoa. Hold on. Oh. I didn't realize I could lift myself up. Okay. That may or may not stop doing that. <laughs> Alright, well let me see if I can put one of these. Maybe, like... Ugh. Moonchild? Okay, the that one... Seems more... Uh, I say this one seems more doable, but... Mm, yeah, I'll just let that... Not great, to be honest. I'll pretend I didn't see that. Well, no shit. I because it, it, it feels it's a different color, so it feels like maybe you should try to aim for it first. But uh, okay, I'm gonna let that. Oops, he's a bit short. Well, you know what? Hmm. Hmm. That's gonna touch something. Yeah, it's gonna touch mad. I just wanna see if I get that one up there. Uh, no. Damn it. Oh my god, will this accidentally do the poem? Okay, good, it won't. But, it, excuse you. I didn't. Oh. Shut up! Shut up! I think Moonchild's the quote unquote easiest. Only because it has a. No, don't hit spiritual! No! Only because it technically does have a path to it, but that honestly depends on if you can wiggle waggle the bully luli to it. Oh no. No, no, laddie. It's not what I want, laddie. Oh, fuck, laddie. Didn't realize I can go up now. Up and down. That changes everything. <laughs> Gotta try to thread the needle. I mean, there's not much really else to say. It's very basic. Um, perhaps the, what I am attempting to do is not the intention. Just because one block is a different color doesn't actually mean anything, quote unquote. However. I want to just see. Oh, everyone fucks up now. <laughs> that whoa! Please stop killing yourself. I. Do, mm. I'm still here. Are you trying to say otherwise, game? Because I'm still very much here. Yes, indeed. Poem seems a bit short. Yeah, well. I'm trying. But I. Oh, shit. Oh, don't touch me. Oh, disgraceful. Wow. Will you? Will you really pretend? Whoops. I am even trying. Don't. Oh, ah, <gasps> Damn it. Dang it! Dang it! You know, the dragon's way too strong. Mm, that's not true. Let's try the dragon. No! Don't touch the spring! Hmm. Oh, 
Oh my god. Okay. I don't care if it seems a bit... No. Oh. <gasps> no. Shit. Oh my god. No, that's not going to work. Nope. Tragically not going to work. Tragically. Uh, uh, no. Okay, let's try a different one. Wanna I just want to see if it does. This one might be the most possible of them all. I say as I immediately start fucking it up. No! No, I don't want to. No, go away. Die. I'm curious. I am curious. What? No. Mm, no. The needles that must be threaded are truly treacherous. Yeah, that's not going to work either. It's going to hit calm minds. Oh! Ah! Shit talking mushrooms. I'm sure that's not how those are actually pronounced, by the way. It's probably sh something else, but because it starts with the word shit, that makes it funny, you see. <laughs> didn't hit old claws if it didn't hit old claws no no I have a turbulent mind I call mine I do not have ah it's hopeless you're right Oh, I think I've tried them all. Moon Child, War and Glory. I could try. Ooh, this one actually seems possible. Unless it wants. That's what it wants me to end it with, which, in that case. Eh. Oh my god, stop touching me. Stop. Leave me alone. A breakout game where you don't want the breakout ball to touch your paddle. Speaking of breaking, I'm still mad at that well, that umlaut one for fucking glitching out on me. Like, really? Out of all the things that could happen to me when I'm actually trying to make progress on it? It's just like, yeah, fuck it. Fuck you. Fuck you, asshole. Well, if there's a chance of me doing it, it's definitely a lot harder than it presents itself. This one does seem the most possible, but... Requires some serious, like. No! Ah! <sighs> nope. Maybe, maybe you are supposed to end it on that one. I don't know. And maybe there's nothing, there's no supposed to at all. At home, doubt, a scream and glory, smiles, ailing, and fire, shuddering. Poetry is weird like this. <laughs> but you know what? Simplistic? Way. The theme of the poem, I think, stays relatively the same because you're. Because, you know, it gives you a set of words. And so you can get the same general theme, just, just deliver it differently depending on the order in which you break the. Ball, break the bricks, as it were. Um, but really simple. Not really much, other than my attempt to try to get to the words in the different boxes first. There's not really much keeping yet keeping me here. That being said, if Johan, you plan to expand on this concept in the future, 
like allowing added words or more more poems to choose from. Hell, even adding some music. <laughs> or you need to do something cute like get a um a uh, text to speech program to read your poem at the end after it's completed. <laughs> but regardless, neat idea. Much like Asteria, it, it's just missing that little extra oomph to make it really good. But Unlike Asteria, I actually liked this one, because all Asteria was, was me running around a procedurally generated area while the poem was was writing itself out on the screen, so at least it had, it did in fact have more interactability than Asteria. So there you go. That was several indie games tonight. Lots of stuff I plan to come back to in the future. As far as Batolo... Bordelo is concerned. Uh, the first game we did. Um, I don't know if anyone out there <laughs> would like to. We could do remote play over Steam with it. Maybe the remote play will apply if I connect it. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll see. But definitely would like to actually play Bordelo with somebody. The other th three games that I plan to come back to. Brassica, Brathian, Brave Hero. Very good. Love it. Uh, Breaker is a fun arcade style game. Absolutely enjoyed it. Not something I'd come back to. It's it's just an arcade game. Um, but it was a fun combination of a lot of classic arcade style games. So excellent job there. Daniel Linson and Breakout Poetry, while simplistic, was enjoyable to concoct your own poems with. So... A successful several indie games if I ever saw one. So thank you all so much for coming out to the workshop to help me, my apprentices. Remember to always be nothing. And the workshop, she is closed.